though he has a kennel at my house um, that he lives in. Uh, late January of 2019, we drove to uh, Indiana, and that's where we conducted our training. It's actually Indiana with game wardens from across the country. Um, so we did that, and we were back and forth. We had a couple breaks, but we finally certified and graduate, graduated in May. Um, once we were done in May, we hit the ground running. Um, we've been here, and, and Buck is a valuable resource for our Fish and Wildlife Division. So he does three things, so he's going to track people. We're not going to track the, the person that you know fled from a car stop by any means, but we're going to track the person that's involved in a wildlife fence. We're going to go, go track the people that are, you know, a person that may be missing or lost, um, wandered away. He also does wildlife detection. So like our drug dogs will detect heroin as an example. He'll detect specific wildlife species, whether we can run them around a car, a boat, the cooler, the, you know, those sorts of uh, things. And then he'll do an area search to locate evidence involving uh, a wildlife crime. So he'll locate anything that has uh, to do with a firearm, with a shell casing, the firearm itself, anything with human scent. Buck's relaxing. Uh, anything with human scent, um, he'll go out and he'll find and alert those uh, sorts of things to me. Um, and we travel all over the state right now, so we, uh, we have a pilot that can fly us all over if it's a uh, considerable distance, so uh, he's a great flyer. Uh, we flew commercially back and forth. Uh, he loves a window seat. He flew right beside me on the plane, and, uh, and you know, and we, we still fly around the state with our own pilots as well, and he does great.